What up everyone, it's your girl, Superwoman, and today I burped a rainbow out of my mouth, which means one thing, it's Super Thursday. Rainbow. I'm attractive. And I asked you guys what do your faces want to see, and a lot of you said types of friends, so you know me, I make wishes come true. I'm like a genie in a bottle. Rub the bottle. Rub the bot- Rub the bottle! <laughs> Welcome to Types of Friends. AKA how walruses are born. Number one, the leech. These types of friends, we all have them. It's like their lips are magnets. I have buns of steel, okay? And they are just suctioned and stuck to my butt crack, sucking out my blood forever. Oh, there's a party tonight? It starts at nine and it's 8.30 right now? Okay, three, two, one, ring, ring. Hey, oh my God, how are you? Can I get a ride? A ride. Can I get a ride? Do you know what a ride is? A ride is if I'm here and you're right here and we have to go there to a similar destination. Meaning you just come along for the ride. A ride is not I'm here, you're over there, our destination's over there. Because this is not a ride. This is a service. For example, a roller coaster is a ride. And the last time I was on a roller coaster, I don't remember it derailing off the track, okay? Swerving through the city, stopping at red lights, okay? Going the speed limit to pick up your blood clot at the movies. Yo, yo, can you spot me? Yo, can I borrow 20 bucks? Yo, I'm just gonna borrow some money, you know I'll pay you back. Oh, you gonna pay me back, he's gonna pay me back. You pay me back nothing! Like, I don't get it, am I your mom? Am I your guardian? Like, I don't get how you exist as a human being if you cannot take care of yourself. Like, honestly, if you ain't got $7 for a movie, maybe you should not be watching Jurassic Park 3D in theaters today. Okay, maybe you should be home watching Land Before Time in 24 parts on YouTube. And I hope that each of those 24 parts has a three minute ad that you cannot skip. In fact, I hope that ad is about Jurassic Park 3D. F yourself. Number two, the SPS, AKA the Sissy Panty Sensitive. SOS from the SPS. It's like a black cat ate a broken mirror on Friday the 13th and then you were born. Hey, how are you? My boyfriend just never understands me. Hey, how are you? My parents, I did. They're, they're painter. Hey, how's it going? School work is just... <laughs> I mean, I'll be real with you. I've had some wild nights, okay? But I don't ever recall giving my phone number to the effing grudge. So I do not understand how I'm in this horror movie. Hello? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Yo, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> like, shut your face, okay? Silence is effing golden. What up, t-shirt reference? Where's Ari? Where's Ari? Where's Ari? There he is. Honestly, it's like you have a contract with vodka and you get paid every time you produce an alcoholic. You must be rich! Like honestly, as your friend, get it together, okay? Because you have so many problems that every time you call me, I feel like I need to bust out a calculator and a protractor just to listen to you. Girl, if we need to bust out the Pythagorean theorem to solve your issues, there's a problem, okay? But let's be real, Pythagoras probably broke up with you last night. Number three, the bad drunk. Have you ever seen one of your really hot friends transform into Johnny Lever? Or even like Reverend Lovejoy into Polly D? It's effing disgusting. We all have that one friend who's super cool to chill with until a rum and coke touches their tongue. This could go two ways. I mean, if this friend is a guy, usually he's probably really, really cool. You chill out with him, you have a good time. But when he's drunk, yeah, you're gonna wish you could take your boobies off and put them in your pocket because he's looking right at them. Whoop. He's creepy and uncomfortable, and somehow he is Facebook poking you in person with his eyes. All up in your personal space and just looking at you like a creepy uncle with a drunken smile, the whole... You know what I'm talking about. If this friend is a girl, chances are she's normally very reserved, respectable, very, very nice, proper girl. But after one tequila shot, this girl is a hot effing mess. On a normal day, this girl couldn't touch her toes, but she'd be in the club right now doing the splits. Drunken gymnast up in her. And you know, since I'm such a great friend, I'd be all concerned for her. So I spent my whole night looking for her drunken self, you know, checking the usual spots, the washroom stalls, the, the dumpster behind the club. You know things are really bad when you actually have to interrupt two people making out and be like, oh, sorry, hi, excuse me. I just want to know, do you know who my friend is? Not because you think they've seen her, but because their tongue might be in her mouth right now. It's just like, whoop, no, no, sorry, have a great time. Whoop, hello, no, okay. Whoop, no. Girl, 
there you are. I've been looking for you. Girl, the club is closed, okay? I've been looking for you since Saturday. Like, control your alcohol. Don't put that ish on your friends. If I look at you and I go, how many fingers am I holding up? And you say, the Olympic logo. Then you drunk. Number four, fake friends. Oh, so I told you my biggest, darkest secret and I only told you, but now somehow everyone knows, but you promised you didn't tell anyone? Oh, okay. Oh, oh my God. Okay, that makes so much sense. You didn't know he was my boyfriend when you put your booty on his pee-pee. Okay, oh, okay, something's wrong with your phone, so you didn't get any of my calls. Okay. Okay, that makes so much sense. Okay, so you invited me to your party in your dream, and then you got confused in real life. Okay. Thank God, so your tweet about your annoying friends who make YouTube videos wasn't about me? Okay. I swear to God, this was Mean Girls? I would Lindsay Lohan your blood clot self. Number five, special guests. We all have those friends that we don't talk to every day. How are they? I have no idea. Are they seeing anyone? No clue. What color is their hair? Not the slightest idea. And we rarely see them, but when they do call you, your heart fills with jelly beans and you get so happy. And if you ever need them, they will come running. And if they ever need you, you will be there. They hold such a special place in your heart, you might as well call them Jack, cause baby, you ain't ever letting go. Get it? Jack and Rose. And Rose, Flower, Lily. Was I on the Titanic? Sorry, sorry, my brain farted a rainbow. Number six. The Tard, aka me, the friend who's always late. Ladies free before 11 at the club, well girlfriend, you know I'm jumping in the shower at 10.45, so get your $20 bills ready. You be waiting for me? I didn't answer your phone call, I told you it was because I was driving. Nah, because I was sitting at home trying to get my eyeliner even, girlfriend. I'm always late, okay? If I was a period, you'd all be pregnant. Number seven, the convict. We all have that one friend whose parents are just a little bit crazy and hella strict and for some reason, all of us have to suffer. You know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. We're all chilling, laughing, having a good time, and then all of a sudden, <laughs> <laughs> Guys, guys, it's my mom, shh, guys, shh, shh, don't say anything, guys, shh. Okay, I'm answering, don't say anything bad, okay, hello? And then of course we have that one douchebag friend that's gonna be like, vagina. <laughs> Yeah, mom. And then they're gonna orchestrate some huge lie. Yeah, mom. I'm just at Jessica's house. Um, we're just about to have dinner right now with her parents. Like, honestly, what are we doing that's so bad that you cannot tell your parents, okay? We're sitting together, girls and guys, no one's touching anyone. We're eating Pringles and drinking Diet Coke. We're out of control! And then we walk into the party. Three minutes later, you'll see her in the corner texting her mom because her parents want her to come home. And then we all have to leave early to drop her off because we're her ride. Please refer to friend type number one. And then when we drop her home, we have to stop at the end of the street, let out all the boys in the car so they can freeze outside, drive up to her house, okay, because her parents are watching through the window and she's not allowed to talk to boys. And then even still, when we drop her off, her crazy parents will come outside to see who's in the car. Uncle G's approaching me, I'm stressing, pulling down my mini skirt, okay, trying to practice Punjabi because I'm stressed. Like why? This is not the Dilwale Gulhaniya Lejangu, okay? Just let your daughter on the train already. Yeah! And honestly, let's just say that this is Types of Friends Part 1. One. If you enjoyed it, make sure you click the link in the description to share the video because sharing is caring. Make sure you also rate, click that thumbs up, comment, type something pretty, and click that subscribe button because I do make new videos every Monday and every Thursday. One love, Superwoman, that is a wrap, and zoop! Hi, it's me again as per usual. You can click here to watch my last video, and you can click here to watch my new vlog that's on my second channel. Hope you like the video, and I hope you have a great day, morning, night, afternoon, whatever, because you're a sweetheart. And I love you. 